Uh, the name of our band is Incubus. Derek. Derek? Hi, I'm Derek. Derek. Hey, I'm Kilmore. Brandon. Hey, call me Jose. My name's Mike. It's like the forest cow. <laughs> <laughs> The record is going really good. <laughs> uh, we're like, I think we're about halfway done with the record. And uh, we have another month. So, we'll be done. The record's been a lot different than Science is yet. Um, it's getting a little more um, song oriented. Uh, it still rocks, I think. But it. Um, oh, I don't think it rocks. What do you think it does? <laughs> I think it rocks hard. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the music, the music's just, uh, it's different, but it's got a lot of really, really cool energy, and, um... Because it was recorded at NRG? Because energy. it was recorded at NRG, It's got and a lot of, uh, emotion in it. Yeah, it's got... It's around. It's a lot. It's planned and thought out. I think it'll touch... Sorry, Jose. I love this guy, but <laughs> interrupt him. I think, I think the music on this album's a lot more, um personal i think people will get a lot will be able to listen to the music and really get something out of it you know musically and lyrically and and all that it's got more of a uh, like a, a drum and bass thrash tip to it like we got in the past two years since the last time we made our last record we've all gotten a lot more into drum and bass music and like like hardcore music in that sense so it still has like the thrash element that incubus has always had but it has this weird like drum and bass thing going on as well, mixed with that. So it's it's getting more confused, but more concise but in our not. minds, I think, yeah. <laughs> it's, if you heard Enjoying Incubus, which was our EP to Science, which came leaps and bounds to our next one, it's also leaps and bounds. I mean, it's still got the same us element. <laughs> one of the, one of the biggest scene. drum and bass people that I like is Ronnie Size. I mean, he mixes, Amen. He mixes hip hop Definitely. and drum Ronnie and bass Size. in a mm -hmm. very creative way. Uh, Calvin Singh is another one. Yeah, that, Calvin uh, Singh. That's just amazing. Um, they're just, Alex, Alex is like the connoisseur, just got hundreds of random um, obscure drum and bass. Millions. I mean, millions. I got bajillions and bajillions. Yeah. There's a. Uh, Promised uh, Land. Yeah, there's a compilation like Groove Rider was had some good stuff and Fotech and um, what else was there that was really good this year? Square Pusher. Oh yeah, Square Pusher. That's like some Mr. Bungle type shit. <laughs> Jazz music has always been influential to this band, I think, as well. Um, hardcore bands have been influencing me. Um, one of my favorites is a band called Refused. Um, they're just like it's just madness. It's it's like hardcore type singing, and the music is basically hardcore. But then they go into this weird like techno thing too, and it's jazz techno. Yeah, it's like jazz techno hardcore or something. It's awesome. Um, Portishead has been a pretty uh, has been influential to us as well. I think collectively as a band, we all really, 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 really like the Police, and decided to rip and them off. And decided to rip them off unmercifully. Um, no, they're, I think they've been a, in, a, in a very kind of removed way a very big inspiration for this album. I just think just the last two years of being on tour after we made Science, you know, has really just kind of helped us. We played with a lot of good bands and been around the world and seen some, some music that's really good, some horrible music too. And like we're trying to stay away from the horrible and stick with the good. <laughs> good idea. That's a, <laughs> that's a good lesson right there. <laughs> Shitty music isn't cool. I think that we, we have kind of stuck to our guns when it came to that. We we do we are a, a rock band, but I think that there has always been um, musicality and, and melody and, and stuff more of like a focus on singing. Yeah, um, I would say I, yelling is fun, but you know I personally I can only yell for so long because it hurts my throat. <laughs> So we amuse ourselves. We've been in here for like over a month now, and basically we're starting to go fucking nutty. You guys are crazy. <laughs> oh. Well, that's what happens when you go on tour, too, you know? You live in a bus, and you learn how to just, like, entertain yourself. You can, like, play with, like, string. I mean, you give Jose a ball of yarn, and it's, like, over for hours. We have arts and crafts time a couple times a day. We have movie hour. We have nap time. We, we have, have PlayStation. PlayStation. I met Van Damme once. <laughs> <laughs> it was I met Van Damme at Fridays down in Canoga Park. 
and he was van loaded after all, all night drinking. And like the whole night, me and my friends were looking, like pointing at him, talking about like we could take Van Dam. There was like four of us, and he's not that big, you know. And then by the end of the night, you know, we were shooting the shit with him. He came up to us and he's like, "Hey, fellas, you know what's going on?" He wanted to sit down and talk, and he starts telling the story about how his wife he hasn't been with for six years, but she stayed faithful. And my friends all that's because she hasn't seen me, you know. Like saying he would hook up with Van Dam's yeah, wife, yeah. and Van Dam kind of got uppity, but like no big deal. He was just like, "Tim, it's all about your ego. What's up?" <laughs> Ah, 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 ah,